Insane. Let's hit the road, we're hungry. Everybody rolling out. Have a good trip. V-twin? Yeah, it yeah. is a V-twin. Yeah, it's liquid cool. Here. Are you are you junior? Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> You're tall. Welcome, Look at that. welcome down, man. Thank you. Yeah. How's it going, man? How you doing? Pleasure to meet you. But I saw it on uh, on YouTube. And I said I like that bike. It's a beautiful I, piece, I want man. That bike. It really is. And it's a mwah, beautiful bike. Watching a little bit behind the scenes of Kaplan over here. What what they do for a daily basis, pretty much. Absolutely, yeah. We'll ride their right. bikes. Right, Up and most. down this alley. Yeah. I get to ride this 186 horsepower fuel. 20, 24. 24. Brand new. Yeah. It does a 9.98 second quarter mile. It's a 686 miles per hour top speed. So yeah. Phenomenal motorcycle. Yeah. As far as the, the, the power to weight ratio is just absolutely obscene. Yeah. They hand built every single one of these. V twin? V twin. Yeah. It is a V twin. Yeah, it's liquid cool. Liquid fuel cool. injected, six speed. It weighs 419 pounds. It's extremely light. Wow. The power to weight ratio is, is, uh, is obscene on it. It wheelies on command. Just crack the throttle and stand right <laughs> up. <laughs> Insane. Wow, what a machine. Yeah. Well, it's the ultimate, ultimate. Oh, yeah. It's the most horsepower and torque on a 419 pound bike I've ever experienced. Wow. It's just the front end comes up all three years. 186 horsepower is absolutely insane. So obviously, obviously it's got all the electronics, uh, traction control and- uh, Oh yeah, I shut, you. I shut all that shit off. Oh. <laughs> so that's, that's why I stopped in the driveway there. It was on TC3, I shut that shit off. So for the holy shift viewers here, 1190 uh, V-Twin made in Grand Rapids, Michigan from the case up. So these are hand built. That's a Street Fighter model all stripped down. This one's got adventure bars and uh, made in America. Not very cool. Buell model. I don't, but yeah, you can call in and we uh, do fill special work. So you're a Buell dealer or not? Yes, sir. Yeah. You are. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, licensed dealer and uh, proud to be. So we're number one in North America. Actually, we sell more Buells than anybody else. Yeah, oh, yeah. for unit sales. <laughs> yep. The crew is on their way. They should be here any second. Then we're going to see the museum. The North, what is it called? The Northeast Museum? Yeah, the New England Border New England. Museum. New England. Pretty I think I hear, I think, I think I, sorry, I think I hear my crew. Here they come. Yeah, yeah, here they come. I think I hear them. Moses, wave them up here. There he is. Yeah, here it is. There's John. Here they come, rolling in. Hey, how you doing? What's up, man? How you doing? What's going on? How you feeling? Good? Glenn, you're half a person. Look at the Glenn. Look at skinny Glenn. Oh my God, look at you. <laughs> oh, look at skinny. Everybody's skinny. Only I'm gaining. Wow, that's badass. Look at that. That's a 21. 21? Yep. It's got that brand new. I love these the spoked wheels. Ooh, the, the, the cross, the cross uh, package on it. Yeah, this one's got all the shit in it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are going to get the full Monty tour today. Yeah. Full deal. That's cool. The VIP treatment. That's yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you really lost weight. Yes, I did. Big time. You're looking, you're looking good. God bless. No shit. Hey, good for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome to see that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 58. <laughs> Crack the throttle, it stands straight up first, second, third gear. It's 185 horsepower and it weighs four. Kaplan is doing over here up. Live, real time, real time. Oh, <laughs> it got me there. Insane, wheeling it like it's license. Right. <laughs> Absolutely You're wheeling it over here, man. <laughs> Rotor is so big. 
It's like, massive. It's massive. Just one, and it stops. Such a cool, great lots stopping cooling. power. Lots of cooling too. Yeah. It's such a Further ado, here it is. That's a deuce, yeah. I always like this bike. You know what? I you know what? I actually like the the exhaust. It looks kind of like a thunderheader ending. No, don't get carried away now. That's gotta go. <laughs> That's gotta go. Yeah, it's going. I already have them in. in the... Nice bike, man. Beautiful paint. Yeah. This building? Yeah, this building right here. And it's two stories downstairs is our uh, service shop, wood factory, textile factory, and they did fine fabrics. So like. Uh, Suits, dresses, and stuff like that was big business back in the, the 1800s. The bridge. Yeah, there's, uh, there's 25 employees currently. Wow, it's uh, a big call now. Yeah, that's how we fund the museum is by buying and selling uh, motorcycles. Got so, you. Part of the collection that is not for sale, and that's the museum bikes. They have a permanent display of all. You frame off restorations on, on everything. We do motocross bikes and street bikes and, and everything in between. Oh, look at that. And, uh, well, of course, we do tuning. We build mortars here. We have a dyno room, you know, crank up rebuilds. We, you know, we have a paint shop here. We do a little bit of everything. They have a big uh, focus on the uh, new unit that we're prepping uh, to be shipped down to South Carolina. Good. Inspect it with the race pipe, red caliper as an option. I'll fire this one up just, just for fun. Yeah, more. yeah, ducked. Yeah. <laughs> We have a couple projects in here and then where do you pick up the bikes everywhere everywhere in the country yes and these are all waiting to get uh worked on. 90 cc yeah. where'd you see that where do you see that says 90 cc or you know that's what i know because i know I when I was 90 cc bike look yep. here 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 say hello z90 z90 yep. with only 497 miles special edition <laughs> You didn't get all that, you didn't get the off It's a 32 Henderson uh, 4. Gorge Spines. Yes, first gen uh, for you. The Mooglai. Yeah, yeah. The Mooglai. We still actually make my, uh, bicycles. Vespas. My daughter, my daughter wants a Vespa now. She's like, I buy if you buy me a Vespa, I'll ride it. Oh, okay. Here, the shifter is on, is all over here on the hand, right here. You see the shift over here. That's the clutch. And you shift first, second, third, fourth. When I was telling you that I had a picture in my mind how I want to ride and how I want to see the next year or two or three with Back to Basics, this is what I had in mind. This was my vision. Literally raked out front, a lot of chrome, a nice sissy bar, apes, that, that's what I had in mind. That's what I'm trying to mimic. This, this, this feeling, easy rider. This museum is not only about the old bikes, this building itself is an, a piece of history as well. Look at the restoration they did to the building itself everything look, look at the, the original beams look at that the floors it used to be a textile factory new showroom space so parts gear accessories and a new motorcycle space and we'll reclaim the third floor up huh look at the look at these beams huh Building in 1814, 18, and 14. they didn't finish the final section, which is right up here on the stage, until 1860. This building is impressive, huh? Building from outside, really huge property. Get it, jump on their lawn and clean up their property yeah, for them, you know? So, really? <laughs> 10 to 330, and the cycle shops open during the week. But we charge a $10 admission for fees, it's free for customers. <laughs> Yeah, K 
KZ 1100, all, all tuned in. I think we're gonna just take some country roads back yeah. there away from the highways. Yeah. Let's start it up for the first time. Let's hear the bike. Let's hit the road, we're hungry. Everybody rolling out. Have a good Thank trip. So Thank you. Safe, man. Thank you so much. Keep the shiny side up, man. Let's go. Take, take off my visor off the helmet. They say I look dorky. I don't know, what do you say? Do I look stupid or I look cool with this visor on top? The helmet visor. Friday, Friday afternoon and traffic going into New York City is crazy. The guy stopped for a refuel. Look how nice this bike looks. 
been on it for an hour now, extremely comfortable. Again, I don't know why it's because it's not so powerful and it's not aggressive, but it's such a cruiser, so smooth. The pipes are, are nice and quiet, which I don't like, but I'm, I'm replacing them. So maybe that's adding to the smoothness of the bike. The, it's not a powerful engine, so it's a really smooth and comfortable bike, actually. What really surprised me is actually the suspension. Suspension is really plush. This is pure peer pressure. The crew is making fun of me that I should take this off. As, you know what? I'm not listening to them. I'm keeping it on. It's not on. Oh. <laughs> the bike holds the line really nice. I guess because of the, uh, the rake of the bike where the wheel is extended forward, the wheelbase is longer, bigger, and it holds the line, it holds a straight line very nicely. Obviously, it's not as maneuverable as the Lowrider ST because of, you know, the rake, but it's really, uh, really holds a nice straight line on the highway. By the way, the crew, they really like the, the rims, the back rims. They say, no, don't change them. Don't go for the spokes. Everybody has spokes. Keep the backs, keep the rims. What do you guys say? Look how you how you see right ahead in front of you. This is as basic as it gets. No cruise control, no RPM reader like tachometer. Just a speedo and a fuel gauge. Not even a fuel gauge. It's an analog fuel gauge, right there. As basic as it gets. And you know what, it's pretty cool. back home let me tell you I got so much to tell you been 120 mile on the bike just got from Connecticut all the way to the house stay tuned because I have so much to tell you how this bike this soft tail with an 88 a cubic inch engine on it is different than my soft tail my new soft tail with the 117 on it stage two such a different ride one thing for sure immediately as you've seen i gotta replace the lights might as well be riding with a candle or with a, a cigarette lighter see you soon